Gum with Salt Lake Valley Vibes, and today I'm here at Altius Mortgage with Danny Herrera. Hi. Thanks so much for joining us today. And the topic I wanted to ask you about was something called private mortgage insurance. And a lot of people don't know what that is. So can you just take a minute and explain to us what private mortgage insurance is? Yeah, so private mortgage insurance is normally when you buy a home or you put a little bit of money for a down payment, but not a 20% down payment. So it's normally for first time home buyers and those on an FHA loan. Okay, and what what kind of person is going to need private mortgage insurance? You mentioned a certain amount down you have to have, so talk a little bit more about who might be affected by this. Yeah, so anybody who didn't put 20% down to buy a home, those are typically the ones who are gonna have mortgage insurance on their loan. And that's not gonna help you, it's not gonna benefit you in any way, it's not an insurance for the house. Um, what it does is it insures your lender. So. If, because we were able to give you guys uh, a, a loan that's less than 20% down, we wanna make sure that we're, we're covered on the back end. So that's how we cover ourselves is we get mortgage insurance so that if anything happens to the loan, the lenders are safe. So it helps you get into a house at the same time. For less down, yep. but you pay a little bit a month. About how much every month is mortgage insurance gonna cost? It can be about 100 to 250, depending on your credit. That's why credit is so important because the lower the credit score, the higher your mortgage insurance is gonna be every month. Oh, that makes sense, okay. Just another reason to look out for your credit, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, for real. <laughs> okay, so one of the things that I've heard is that with the market the way that it is right now, everybody's got equity in their homes. So can you explain to me um, how somebody could use that to their advantage as a homeowner to maybe get rid of their private mortgage insurance a little earlier? Yeah, so there's a couple ways. The first is if you have 78% loan to value, which basically that means that if your house has increased in value at least 20%, then you normally can get your mortgage insurance taken off with your current lender. Um, however, you also want to keep an eye on your interest rate because if your interest rate isn't where market rates are today, you can refinance and get your mortgage insurance taken off as well. So those are two different ways that you can do it. Okay. And how do they go about starting a process like that? How do they initiate that? So you could, the first one is you would have to contact your lender. Normally you get a bill in the mail or you get one in your email. Check that for the, the servicing number and ask them how you would start that process with them. Don't get ahead of yourself and order an appraisal. You may just end up spending five, $600 without a need. So contact your lender first, ask them those steps. And if you're interested in refinancing, you can always contact your lender. Absolutely. And sometimes in that process, you have to get a value of the other homes in the neighborhood. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. So that you can find out what your home is worth. And if you need something like that, I'm happy to help you. Um, we can check that out for you and, and see what you need. If you have any questions about this, this whole process or anything about lending, Danny is an awesome resource. He is super quick to respond and he is always full of information. So uh, he's helped me out several times. So make sure you give Danny a call. And if you have any real estate questions, uh, be sure to give me a call too. I'll put our phone numbers up for you. So thanks so much. Danny, yeah, thank you, Danny. I appreciate it. Okay, bye.